The story starts 2007 years ago in a town called Nazareth in a lull in the Middle East crisis. Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favour with God. You are to be with child and you will give birth to a son who you will call Jesus. He will be called Son of the Most High and his kingdom will never end. <gasps> but how can this be? I am a virgin. The Holy Spirit will come upon you. Hmm, will the CSA buy that? Will God want to be involved in the upbringing of this baby? Oh, please, this is a man we're talking about. You're on your own, love, like most women. <gasps> hey, who is that? Don't worry, darling. We're going to have to get married. You're going to be a daddy. Come here. Oh. Some months later, King Herod decreed that every man had to return to his hometown with his family to be counted for the 1000 and nought census. So Mary and Joseph set out on their donkey to travel to Bethlehem. It was a long and tiring journey, especially for Mary and the donkey. Oh, hell. I've got two people on my back and I'm keeping the jocks in the lap of luxury. Oh, dear. God. The town was packed with people returning to be counted and every hotel was full. Finally, they came to the last inn in town. Please help us. My wife is pregnant and we have nowhere to stay for the night. We're completely full up. We've got Lithuanians, Albanians, Iranians, Iraqis, Somalians. We've even got the Romanians, we've got the Czechs, we've got the Slovaks. And let me tell you, if it weren't for the Poles, the plumbing would have packed up days ago. Hey. It's a nightmare. Can anybody help us solve this problem? Well, I have the answer, even though you haven't sent a stamped dress envelope. We have a stable round the back. You have to sleep on straw, but it's dry and warm. Call my helpline for further advice. But innkeeper's wife led them to the stable, gave them some blankets and left. During the night, baby Jesus was born. Hey, does he look like me? In your dreams. If you'd gone private, we could have had a nice bottle of Sauvignon Blanc to celebrate. While shepherds watched their flocks by night, all seated on the ground, the angel of the Lord came down and glory shone all around. Do not be afraid. As if. Watch it, Jock. I bring you news of great joy. Today in Bethlehem, a saviour has been born. You will find him in a stable with a bright star shining above. Come on, move it. Unbelievable. This is absolutely amazing. Never seen anything like that before. This lad has definitely got a future. Go for it, Sadie. Follow that star. Meanwhile, many, many miles away, the news relayed to the three wise men, known as the Magi. Maggie, Maggie, Maggie. Oi, oi, oi. I saw a star as big as that the other day. And then I realised, here's my boy Sean. But well, how are we going to get there? Well, you can't take a four-wheel drive car because you're just going to have e eco-mentalists throwing eggs at us. We must take gifts. I won't insult him with euros. I'll take gold. I'll take frankincense. It's cheaper than Frank Lampard. I'll take the Merc. Are you sure he doesn't look like me? I'm sure that chin... If you're the dad, my f***'s a bloater. When I was shouting, oh God, oh God, I really meant it. When King Herod heard that a new king had been born, he ordered that all children under two in the land should be killed, claiming they were concealing weapons of mass destruction. Mary, Joseph and the baby escaped to Egypt for two years, returning only when Herod died. Joseph became one of the carpenters, Jesus had a spectacular career in the church, and Mary never did convince the CSA about the paternity of her only child. Amen. <gasps> <Ooh>. <laughs> <laughs> and the Lord smote him 